What's good? So, how's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Doing pretty good. What you got? What's the first question of the night? Um, I have kind of a broad question. Um, is what do you think is the best way to work on mental toughness? Just doing hard stuff in general, or for what? Um. In terms of like, like what what can help with things like how we just just being able to get through really tough stuff. Hard ass work, roofing in the summer in Texas. Cement, cement, cement's a hard ass job. Some anything cement related. Do you think um, doing like landscaping in the summer, like what state? What state? I did it last year in Arizona, but I'm thinking of doing it. Yeah, I, I did it at the spring training fields. So, so I mean, if you're working 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day in Arizona in the summer, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because I used to do eight hours. But here's the deal. Here's the deal, Jared. I'm going to say this. is Some work is a lot harder because you're in the same environment, but only you shoveling heavy loads of cement with a shovel. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, with the baseball fields, there was some stuff that was pretty tough, like we were carrying around the 100 pound bag to play everywhere, but it wasn't like constantly that, you know? In, in cement, you're doing it every day, though. Yeah, that makes sense. So, you can't hide from it. Because I want to look for a job like that that can help me work on things. Yep, all day. Okay. All day. And then I'm going to tell you, like, you're working on it yourself, right? Like, what's the far as you ever ran? Um,. I don't know about ever ran, but the other day I did 3.7 miles. And I think I told you last week. This is like my third week running um, out of the last like five months. So, so I would say like you run an extra mile a month, you'd be doing good. Okay, sounds good. I'll work on that. All right, next question. Nick and Hunter, turn on your camera. Mike, you joined in twice? Yeah, my my uh my Wi Fi dropped, but I tried again. No no no, I'm saying you you I got you, but I tried to admit you, but it's going away. Oh uh, all right, Nick, you good. Yeah, after you don't eat. Was just wondering if you had any uh, any home remedies for Colds, flus, that sort of thing. Starlick, onions. Zinc. Anything. Zinc. Zinc. Ginseng. Vitamin C. See? Ginseng. Vitamin C. Copy that. Zinc. Yep. So, that's the big one. That's, I mean, at least in my world. That's what I'm crushing. Some dude asked on YouTube about leadership. I don't know what he's talking about, though. Leadership where, man? YouTube, bring yourself over to Zoom. We rolling. I'm crushing this rice right now. Hey, Jake, do you guys get um, the four uh, dudes that uh, were on dude your screw? Do you guys get royalty? Absolutely not. Damn. That's why they doing reality TV, because they ain't got to pay nobody no royalties. That's one of the first things you sign away in reality TV. Because it's not considered real TV. So you know the Friends? Friends get $20 million a year from that TV show. Still. The actors of Friends are getting $20 million a year still from that TV show. So... And I imagine somebody like um, Yellowstone is going to be on repeat forever. So I imagine them dudes are going to get paid for life.
Yeah. The Zoom information is in the title of this video, Dante. It's right in the title. What are the questions we got? No other questions? I gotta get my sniper gun ready. Hang on. I gotta get I gotta get my gun ready. Hey, I have a question. What you got, Nick? Uh so my situation is this uh, I asked my recruiters to go to move my shipping date two months. Two months which way? Left? Right, I mean? I mean to move back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to go seals and I told them to I need more time to train. Okay, and they told you they won't move it. Yeah. You you already have a contract for seals right now? Yeah. What so, are your times? Uh, it's uh, nine forty or nine forty five swim. Oh no, you can't go. You can't yeah, go. So, so just listen. All you got to do is tell them you're not going, and so then you'll recontract down the road. They told me they're gonna discharge me, like a debt discharge. I think. Are you in debt? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let them debt discharge you. You don't care. It don't matter. Oh, okay. And uh, so, so now next time I'm gonna go to recruiters and there's just, uh, they, they're gonna allow me to go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They try to lie to you and say you couldn't go, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's they not said, true. That's not true. They said I'm not, yes, they said I'm not gonna get the seal contract. Not true. Oh, okay. That's not true. true. And uh, I also was thinking maybe join army if I cannot join the Navy. But now I, I mean, know. I you know, I'm always gonna say join the army. I'm always gonna yeah. say join the army. But that's that's different training program, right? I mean, a little bit. I mean, but if you're in seal shape, you be fine. You just gotta run and ruck more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Some dude on YouTube asked how I got uh, asthma medicine. My mom has massive asthma, and we just sent me all her inhalers. Uh, Hunter, where's my dude that just came over from, uh, Dante? Yes, sir, I'm here. You came over from, uh, YouTube, right? Yes, and that's me. Good, good. I like to see that. I like to see right. that. What's up, box office bank rolls? 50 million or underwater swimming buzz was easy. Wasn't that big a deal. I was trying to, when I went to buzz, I was trying to swim 75 meters underwater. And now I realize how dumb that was because if I had passed out in the swimming pool, I'd be dead. So, all right, what's the question, Dante? No, I'm just here getting to the I'm at duty Air Force right now. I just like to get some insight on what you're giving the guys. Okay. All good. What are you doing in the Air Force? Security Forces. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave this YouTube up probably until tomorrow morning. Then I'm pulling it down. I've been deleting them. You either here or you're not. All right, next question. A lot of a lot of some familiar faces on here. Hey, Hunter. I'm just here to say that. Oh God. Hang on. That I've offended in the past. I'm sorry. Brian. I'm not gonna make excuses. There are no excuses for that kind of behavior. Hey, Brian. Brian. You would say that. I'm ashamed of what. Boom! Shooting them! Shooting them! The best part is. What's up, Josh? Yeah, that guy's on some fucking dirty. No, no, so listen, man, I done figured this shit out. Them dudes got like. Uh, they have some way to relay some other videos in the Zoom. So, like, they got. They, they, they like relay some other videos. I don't know how they do it. I'm 52. I don't care. I'm on here for positive purposes. No trolls. Okay? If you want to be a troll, go somewhere else, man. Go somewhere else. We trying to help some people. Okay? What's the next question? No more questions? We going quiet at 07. Seven minutes into Zoom, we going quiet. Then y'all are going to rip questions from like 20, 7, 20 until 8, 30 if I let you. What? Hey, Ra uh, Raul, you just asked the question. Ain't nobody talking. Don't raise your hand. All right. There's going to be formal. There is no formality in this. This is caveman Zoom right, right here. 
long as you ain't trolling, you're good. What's your question? All right, sir. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Sorry for that. I'm kind of new here on your content. It's very interesting. Can you can you speak up? I can barely hear you, Raul. A little bit. Can hear me better. A little bit. Go ahead. Just, just say what you got. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm interested in the seal pad. And right now, I'm currently not a U.S. citizen. I'm planning on getting my papers fixed and obtain citizenship. Then go to boot camp. And then. What? what yeah, so what's your mile and a half in your 500 yard swim time? My 500. Uh, swim guard. It was the lowest I got. It was seven. Oh, okay. And side stroke mile, 704? Yeah, side stroke. Okay. And my mild half, that's my biggest weakness at the moment. I reached like 10 sharp, 10 minutes sharp. Are you a former swimmer? Yeah, I was. Not okay. for long, but I was. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Do you have the PDF? Yeah, I just recently got it and I'm looking at it. Thank okay. You. So what? What's your question, bro? I want to say like if you would say like it's a good idea for me, like going to seal that. Is it like something? Would you recommend? Or do you have any experience recommending anyone that's like in my position being uh, not a U.S. citizen? There's a I bunch. Of, there's a bunch of dudes. That you gotta have. You gotta be a U.S. citizen to go seals, because you need a security clearance. Yep. So the problem you have is. Like they're gonna tell you you can go seals and you'll get your security clearance after you get done with boot camp, but that that's a lie. Okay. So I have another kid that's been emailing me about going, and he he said they they're telling me I'm gonna get my security clearance when I get done with boot camp. They lying. Because once you get done with boot camp, even you get your security clearance and your citizenship, you're not you don't have a seal billet, so you're not gonna get to go to buds. So, like, if you ask for my recommendation, I'm going to tell you, like, work on your running. You swim really good, so I would say you go to SEALs, but the problem is you're not a citizen. So I would tell you go enlist in the Army for four years. And if you still want to, how old are you? Um, 20. 20. So if you still want to be a SEAL after four years in the Army, and you don't want to go SF or Rangers in the Army, then get out and go SEALs. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, because I just think they're going to... Like, if you go in, they're going to jerk you around massively. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Brooklyn, turn on your camera. Adams don't work. Hunter, I know everybody else. Next question, what we got? Yeah, nice name, Brooklyn, man. That looks real good. Oh, man, 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 man. How did I let it happen? Josh. Yeah. Did you you just talking shit? No, I didn't. I'm not talking shit. I'm just trying to help you out. What'd you say? Fuck, I'm really high right now. What did I say? Josh. I said, oh, Brooklyn Josh. Moon. Josh. Brooklyn Moon. That's a really nice name. Josh gotcha. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Next. Next. Listen. Play games. Get thrown out. Play games get thrown out. It's easy. We're all here for the betterment of everybody, so we don't want a game. All right, next question. No more questions? Oh, man, my dude just... Uh, Grant here. So let, me, let me tee this dude up. Grant, turn on your camera. Y'all got me acting like the police in here, man. Hate that. I hate being the police. What's the next question? Hey, Jake, if no one's got anything else, I can give a quick little update. What you got going on? So uh, I recently just got accepted into the Navy ROTC for Mizzou. Okay. So if I don't hear back from the Naval Academy, I got that for a B. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, That'll plan. work. That's a solid That's a solid plan. I almost think it might be better, man. Why is that? Just because you're going to end up in the same place. You're not going to have the same kind of background, but you're going to end up in the same place. So, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. When will you find out about Naval Academy? Uh, latest.
latest is like April 15th, I think. You haven't heard nothing yet? No, I haven't. Send, send me a text. You got my phone number, Levi? Yes, sir. Send me a text message so I rem- I'm, let me see what I can do. Well, now let me see what I can okay. do. Let me call somebody and see what they can do. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Duke. All right, brother. I got to ask you some questions first, though. I got to figure out what, what your... Uh, um, hey, man, listen. Hang on real quick. We got a problem. Listen, on yeah. YouTube, I'm just telling you. If you release, you cannot... Please don't. I don't want to get divorced today. She mad as hell about me putting her on YouTube Live. Please do not... Do not make any memes, please, about the wife. I just ask you, please. That's all I can say. I'm going to be humble and just say please. Okay, thank you. Man, people trying to get me killed at home, man. Yeah, just send me a text message, Levi. Will do. Thank you. What was your SAT? My SAT, I wasn't able to take it. I took the SAT twice, and yep. I only got a 20. But oh, I get, man. Yeah, there, I you ain't got no chance. Two recommendations from uh, different four stars, and my GPA is a three point nine right now. So. Have you have you told them you want to go to prep school? Yes. You you told them that already. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you write them a letter? How did you tell them? Uh, I had an interview with one, and I just let he asked me the question. I'll let him know. I'd be willing. Right tonight. Write a letter to a Naval Academy of Missions and turn it in. Yes, sir. Yeah, because your twenty ain't gonna get you in a Naval Academy. But if you if you got big letters and you willing to go to prep school, they may let you go to prep school. All right, sounds good. Yeah, awesome. Michael, don't scare me, bro. Don't scare me. That's bad. Don't don't scare don't scare me. The YouTube's lighting fire, trying to post craziness, man. Craziness. Okay, next question. What we got? Yo, Jake. What do you got? My shoulder keeps dislocating. What do I do? Uh, you fuck, bro. Not even steroids? Nothing's going to help your shoulder. If your shoulder's dislocated, that means your AC joint, all the ligaments are all stretched out. Like, you're probably not going to be able to fix it without surgery. Most of the people who get shoulder surgery do not do well in special operations. All right. Well, the military um, (laughs) helped me fix this since, you know, the... Are you in the military right now? No, but if I join. Yeah, if you join, they'll fix it probably. If you don't say nothing. But if your shoulder's yeah. dislocating, you're not going to make it through basic training. Because you're not going to make it through the monkey bars. I mean, it, it pops out like once in a while. I'd be busting push ups like nothing, but like one it, little stupid movement, that shit pops out. I'm just yeah, like. That, I'm but that's what's going to happen on the monkey out. bars, bro. Like if your shoulder's coming out right now, I'm telling you, you got nothing to worry about. It'll come out on the monkey bars. So I would tell you. Right. We had a guy that got dropped in boot camp. First PFT coming in. Yep. You hear that from Harold? Yeah, I just want to get my shit fixed. All right. Okay, well, you got to figure out how to get it fixed then. I don't know what to tell you, big dog. What about stem cell? It's, so here's the deal. When your ligaments are stretched out and your shoulder's popping out the socket, it's not a stem cell issue. Like, the stem cells aren't going to shrink up your tendons and ligaments. They're just not. Now, if you had a torn ligament, it'll repair it, like it'll fix it, but it's not going to shrink up them tendons and ligaments like that. Really, the only answer you have is surgery, and then once you get surgery, you're kind of screwed. So, Wouldn't growth hormones help me out with that, like make them grow and shit? Okay, maybe you didn't understand what I said. It's not going to help you shrink up the ligaments and tendons. Copy that. Roger that. Jackie, what you got, Jackie? Hey, what's going on, sir? Um, I, I think I was in your um, live two weeks ago. I asked about my recruiter for um, a officer route for the army. Uh huh. Um, long story. Um, my my um, a PMS or my um, a officer recruiter. He pretty much is a new captain. He um, basically he said that he's not been trying to help me at all with waiver and stuff like that because I'm a what? prior enlistment. Okay, what what do you need a waiver for as a prior enlisted? Um, I need a waiver for my. So basically, I went to mental health and when I was in the army for full time, an army active duty, and then um, I went to a a, a, um, a a hospital. So long story short, they have it on me on uh, um, my um, the, the the medical record that I uh, have provided. So long. So basically, he was not even trying like even like help me. And then I talked to different ROTC school and um, the HRC people called me and said that. 
yeah, your recruiter bullshitting you because um, he have no right to say that you are not qualified. It's up to a doctor to either disqualify you or like have a waiver process. Do, so do, you, right now, I, do you have your degree already, Jackie? No, not yet. Not yet. So I'm going to graduate in 2000, um, next year or um, next year, the middle of next year, by so, 2025. So I tell everybody, you can't go to the recruiters before nine months before you graduate. So I will stop worrying about it. Go worry about graduating and then about six months before you graduate, go put your paperwork in and get it done. And if your recruiter won't help you, just go to a different recruiter, Jackie. Where are you yeah, living? I live in Las Vegas. I'll go to UNLV for a, um, a school. I'm trying to go RTC route. And then I'm okay. trying to go RTC, basically. Then and, just, um, just right take, now, I'm doing with Just take the ROTC classes. No, no, no. So basically, before I have to take ROTC, because I have to um, basically have to pass my DOD, which is like Office of Maps. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, I couldn't take a no class right now because of this situation happening right now. So what, what do you mean that you keep to... saying this situation, Jackie? There ain't no situation. Have you applied for ROTC? Yes, I did. Okay, did they send you for a physical? Yeah, they did. I passed that, but the only thing the DOD must disqualify me is my medical record for my prior enlistment. Who who disqualified you? Um, Dotmer. Then Dotmer disqualifies you. You you they can't go officers. It ain't got nothing to do with the recruiter. Okay. No, I'm talking about the recruiter won't not help me with my waiver process. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to tell you, a lot of times cats ain't going to give you no waivers as an officer. Okay. And they definitely ain't going to give you no waivers for mental health. But you, the, the, the recommend I would give you is go see somebody else. Okay. Go That's see fine. a I'm different talking. recruiter. Yeah, right now, right now I'm talking to them at ROTC where I enable um, a ROTC right now. So, so I'm trying to keep my option wide open. Okay, so listen, if you can't, if, if Dot Merv's won't qualify you, I don't care what your options are. You can't go. Okay. So, and they, and I would, my, my two cents is you're probably going to be hard pressed to get a waiver for mental health in the officer court. Okay. So I don't know what you had going on, but I'm just going to say this. Most of the time, it's really hard to go officers. It's hard enough to go back and listen with a mental health issue, but yeah, it is. It, you ain't going to be able to go officers with it. So figure something else okay. out. All right, cool. No All right, thanks, Jack. Yo, Jake, I got a question. What you got, <laughs> Michael? Yeah, so I've been running a lot recently. I've uh, got shin pain, went to the doctor, said I had a, like a tiny stress fracture on the front part of my shin. Yeah. Uh, put, put me on crutches for three weeks. Yeah. Said uh, no walking. Was the doctor just being like overly safe? Or is that... Nope. You get stress fracture, you get a point of stress fracture, you got to have four months off the leg. Because there's not a lot of blood flow to that part of your body, and it takes forever for the bones to heal. Okay. I, I, I got stress fractures April 15th. I didn't start running until August. But does that mean, like, no walking, like, just using crutches this whole time, too? Uh, you can use crutches for, like, three weeks, probably. Okay, got it. Uh, I, were you taking all the vitamins and stuff? Glucosamine? No. Okay, so you weren't taking the fucking vitamins, Michael. You got the you got the uh you got a PDF? I do not. Michael, you've been on these calls for like how many months? It's been a while, sir. And how do you not have the PDF, bro? I've just been listening in uh to others. Mike, I mean Michael, how many times have I said email me for the a couple times, sir. Okay, so like, here's what I'm gonna say: If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be hard. You don't want you don't want to take the preventative medicine or or vitamins to prevent you from getting stress fractures to make sure your body has enough calcium in it so it can repair everything. I don't know what to say, big dog. I don't know what to say. Okay, yes, sir. Get the, yes, sir. email me right now. Get the PDF and go buy them vitamins right now. Start. Did they give you extra vitamins to take? Sir, they did not. Okay, so so email me right now. Go to Walmart tomorrow. It'll cost you like thirty dollars for six months of vitamins to take. Yes, sir. Hang on, that's the wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know I'm a rocket scientist. I got in trouble today for spelling health wrong. Earth. Earth. I spelled Earth wrong. I had two second graders ready to fight me, man. I couldn't even say nothing. I had to put my head down and be like, "Hang on, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it." Okay. I spelled my my name wrong. Second email, Michael. Send me an email. Ask for the. 
Navy SEAL PDF or the Army PDF, and then go from there. Yes, sir. Am I, am I still good to swim with the stress factor? You can swim all you want, bro. I swam. I, so this is what I did. I I ran in the pool with the little weight belt, the little floaty belt on. I would run for 45 minutes, and then I would swim for an hour, and then I, uh, I rode the, the assault bike for another hour. Yeah, because I had to lose. Like, I was losing 60 pounds at the time. So that was my workout regimen. And then in the evening, I would go back and either ride the assault bike for another hour or I ride the regular stationary bike for an hour. But right now, I'll probably tell you to stay off of it for the three weeks on crutches. And then you can start, like, you can swim all you want. Just don't be killing yourself pushing off the wall and everything else. Yes, sir. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. All right, YouTube. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't like we've been made a concerted effort to post these shorts, more shorts. I'm gaining like 3,000 people every like two weeks now. And the message hasn't changed. It's been the same message, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Like there's 300. There, there, at one point last week, there was 300 people on live. And right now there's two, 154, which is double what it normally is. It's crazy. It's crazy. But watch. I, so I'll say something and YouTube's going to put me back on censorship. So. I'll be going right back down, down to the bottom. Hey, Brian, are you the dude that was being bad? Where's Brian at? Brian, Brian, BH. I appreciate you not being disruptive anymore, Brian. I appreciate that. Okay. <sighs> All right. No more questions? I got a question, sir. What do you got, Grant? Uh, so I'm currently a freshman in, R in ROTC. Where? And I not to train too early. For where, where are you a freshman at? Sorry? Where are you a freshman at? Uh, over at Rice. Rice, okay. And what do you want to do? I want to do SEAL, sir. Okay. You a Navy ROTC? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, and I know you advised not to train for SOAS too yep. early. Yep, yep. But I, have we had SEALs come down last week, and we did PSTs. Yep. And my scores were not the best, so I'm just trying to see. What were your what scores? I, my scores was a uh, 10-minute flat run, 10-20 swim, 70 push-ups, 62 sit-ups, and 13 pull-ups. Okay. So here's what I would tell you. This is what I would tell you to do. You got the, you got the Navy PDF? I do not, sir. Okay. So email me. Ask for the Navy SEAL PDF. Okay. okay. And this is the easy one, dude. Just do the, the easy running part. It's three five three five three five six on Saturdays. So work up to that. Okay. Go on my YouTube channel, get the lifting channel, and start lifting. Okay. I take it you don't lift very much. Uh, somewhat. I just got into it about six, seven months ago. That's fine. Get the lifting program, start lifting. Yes, sir. So do the. You're gonna see. There's ten by one hundreds, ten one ten one hundreds intervals. Start swimming ten by one hundreds on intervals. And then start the easy run program. And then in a year from now, because you're only a freshman, you'll still only be a sophomore. And then maybe you hit the PDF for a month or maybe six weeks and see how you do. Okay. But if you just up your level of exercise and lifting, you will get in better shape. Okay. You advised me bulking? No, no, but you got to lift some more. If you're only doing 13 pull-ups, that just means like, I mean, I can only do 17 pull-ups if I ain't working on pull-ups. So, you know, but you really, like, as coming out of ROTC, you got to be able to do 20 pull-ups. And the big thing is you got to be used to the volume because you got to go to SOAS. And the, and the volume at SOAS is killing people. But it's not something you need to be worrying about. Like, I don't want you to start training like a maniac as a freshman because you won't, you won't be able to continue it for three years to get there. So you only got to just run and swim a lot more than you're doing. But it doesn't have to be high intensity. Work on stride length every day. And then, you know, come your junior come your junior year. Ah, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. I got my gun. Hang on, let me move this over here so I can really snipe people. I can really I can get them right here. All right, we're good. All right. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Also, do you recommend me recommend me joining as many groups in Admiral Sports? No. Just, no. No. Do they have wrestling? Uh, I have. I'm not sure. 
If they have wrestling, I recommend you join the wrestling. Join wrestling? Yeah, if they don't, which I probably assume Rice doesn't have intramural wrestling, then I would not do it. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm hip to the game. Hang on. So they come on here, they're disruptive, but they change their name to somebody that's already on here. But I got a way to, sh I got my gun lined up right now. So I'm ready. Ready. Okay, what's the question? Would you recommend uh, maxing out on uh, letter of recommendations or only like having four at Who's asking that question? PT. PT, what it maxing out on letters of recommendation? I don't understand what you're asking. Okay, so they have a max of 10 letters of recommendation, or would you rather have like four of like high ranking people instead of 10 of middle, uh, like field officers? What, what do There's you think? Like what do you think, PT? Um, I'd go for the four because I don't think they would read all 10 of them. Yep. Four good ones over a hundred. Eight men versus eighty always wins. Yes, sir. Okay. I work with everybody. Some dude asked me work with fleet returnees. I just had a fleet returnee not select. He went to try to go do something, man. We work with everybody. We work with everybody. I got my gun ready. I got it sighted in. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. Jake, so surgery won't restore my faith. Surgery will fix your shoulder, but you ain't going to make it through training with a fixed soldier, surgery shoulder. That, I mean, I have to take your word for it. I'm just, just I'm just telling there's, there's, there's really, there's the one surgery that you cannot go to buds with is shoulder surgery. Because your shoulders are so exposed like, like they're they're massively exposed. Oh my god! And the same thing goes for all, all other special forces. I believe. Got him. My sniper gun is nice. I got him. Go ahead. So um, I'm I'm assuming it's the same thing for all special forces, or, or you're just saying for buds specifically? Uh, I would say for pretty much all special forces. Cause it, so there's going to be a lot of times when your your shoulders are exposed. Like, my shoulder is exposed right now. Anytime your hand is above your, your shoulder, your shoulders are exposed. They're, you're going to be like this. You're going to be hanging from your arms on the monkey bars for long distances. Like, your shoulders are exposed. Like, they, if your shoulders are weak, you're done. It was just one incident like that. It was an MMA incident. Down. I mean, dog, it only take one incident to stretch all the ligaments in your shoulder out. Yeah, I, I don't know what you want me to say. I ain't got no magic pill for you. No, nah, no, I just want to, I just, I want to, like, you know, I got, I got that drive that maybe this is overcomable, you know, like. All right, well, all let me, let me know if you make it. That's how I'm going to put it to you. Let me know if you make it. Because I don't want to hear you trying to tell me shit. Facts. Yeah. Next question. How's everybody doing tonight on Zoom Friday? Oh, oh man, oh man. KL, what's up? What's good? Okay. Be positive. I got you teed up, my dude. Don't snipe me, bro. I'm vulnerable right now. No scope, no scope. No, it's all good. Shot his ass. Come here and fuck around and find out. That's what we're getting in Zoom. You come over to Zoom, play games. I'm shooting you because I got my I, I got it now. Dial in. Come in here, play games. I got you. Hey, All right, next question. What you got, Hunter? Daddy. What? Oh, Daddy. Oh, man. Got him. No, I didn't get him. I didn't get him. I I, I didn't get him, but I I get him next time. I got I got I got my hand on the trigger right now. Okay, hand on the trigger. I got caught last time because there was someone in the room and it changed about, my, my point of what aim. About basic, basic infantry, would I be all right there? Uh, um, I'm probably going to say no. You're not going to be able to make it through boot camp, brother. I, I, I think I would. but um. Okay, so listen, bro, I don't, need to, I don't need to have you on here telling me what you'll do. I need you to show me or not show me. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. We got any real questions tonight? Hey, if you're on YouTube, just go in. It's in the title, man. In the title. It's worth it, too. What's the next question? Mike, I know you want to ask a question. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, Mike, you know that, like, every time you call us, you in the gym. I don't believe you ever in the gym, bro. I think that's a – you got a background that's the gym. So I'm just letting you know. You got a question tonight, Mike? I got a formulated good one. I only got one. Is it a good question, Mike, or is it something you can answer yourself? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty solid question. I hope so, Mike, because you got meme dudes coming after you, some fierce. All right, let's see what you got, Mike. So, uh, the methodology that we take in terms of uh, running shoes, right? Like, I'm sticking to running shoes, right? Hey, hold the phone closer to you. You sound like you're going through a, a tunnel. All right, I got it. Do I still sound better now? Yeah. So the same methodology that we apply when it comes to running with running shoes, we apply that same methodology in terms of running, right? Like we don't want to have the different shoes with running with the different brand of running. I, I'm going to tell you like this. All these dudes talking about rucking in boots and all this other stuff. I mean, I will have a pair of shoes that I'm going to ruck in. I'll ruck in boots. But like I tell people, you go to, to SEAL training, you're rucking in, S, in SBs. Yo, Daddy Jake. You rush, you rush, you, 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 you in SBs. Those are tennis shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so like, why would I kill my feet in boots if I got tennis shoes on? Yeah, that's the same thing. I feel like that same concept is like, oh, you're running at sand and mud, but you're running in sand while training is in a dungeon. Okay, so why don't we run in sand, Mike? Because we're training to get faster. You know? Yeah, if you run in sand, you get slower. Do we get faster at buds or slower? We get slower at that. We get slower at buds. So, like, it's the same kind of formula, right? Yeah, with boots. Like, you don't want to be rubbing your boots now because you'll have plenty of time to do that. As long as your boots are broken, broken in, and you good. I mean, maybe maybe you use them on the on the long rucks, but I'm not trying to burn them up on the short rucks. Makes sense. Because I'm running on the short rucks, right? Yes, sir. All the five miles and three mile rucks, I'm running. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to ask about the weight manipulation when it comes to rucking: lean forward when you want to grab speed. Or back I don't know. Hey, Google, Google how to ruck fast, Mike. I hate rucking. Understood. Yeah, I hate rucking. There's a bunch of videos on how to ruck fast. Start off, start off low weight and then build yourself up. All right, next question. Mike, that wasn't a bad question. I'm going to give it to you. Jake. Yeah. I got to go. Okay, bye. Oh, oh. He ain't pop. He was getting close to getting shot. I got to stay in here. I got to stay on finger on the trigger. Next question. What we got? Sean in here new. We got a bunch of people. We got like 21 people in here today. Dick, so uh, I got a question. Do you recommend it doing wrestling as a sport in college or high school? And I want to know like, why is this and that? Don't you get like more susceptible to injuries? Other sports. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. I'm asking because that's I have never had wrestling as an option. Wrestling, wrestling is the hardest sport in the world. Okay. Okay. And if you haven't wrestled, then you don't really understand why it's so hard. No, I but yes, it's it's the hardest full body workout in the world. Thank you. And it makes you tougher, Raul. Like that's the real bottom line. Like it makes you tougher. What else we got? We got a bunch of new people here. Tyler, Simeon, Sean. I got a, I got a question about Sears because I'm going about to what? Of Sears because I'm going to BMT for Tag P. Okay. For special warfare, and I'm just curious on how to mentally prepare for Sears. Okay, so let me say this: Have you already finished? Are you in Tag P? Have you finished the Tag P pipeline? No, I'm currently going into conditioning, and I, I go up to BMT in a few. Okay, so if you're worried about Sears, 
you ain't gonna have to worry about because you ain't gonna make it through tag piece selection. Well, well, I'm not really worried about. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, if you asking about Seer, then you're not gonna make it through tag piece selection, Sean. Seer is easy. All they do is beat your ass for 24 hours. That's it. They just beat you up for 24 hours. And you get to see naked women. It's the best shit in the world. Seer was awesome. They take all the clothes off all the women and they stand there in their bra and panties and you just get to look at women all day. I thought it was awesome. I like Seer. Seer was fun. Just because they had naked women at it. Yeah, it ain't nothing you got to prepare for. Okay. So I had some uh, some people telling me some shit about it. Don't listen to the hype. All right. They're gonna hit you. They're gonna slap you. Like I mean. Yeah, that's that's nothing I'm worried about. I've been, I've been. They're gonna put you in a little box and on a box and blow smoke in your face until you pass out. And I mean, I just tell you, man, for six hours I got to look at naked women, so I didn't care. I was like, whatever. Okay. But I was in Navy SEAL SEER, which is aviate mainly aviation SEER. So it's a little, I don't know. I don't know when you go to SEER, there might not be no women in there. But my guess is there gonna be some women. And I don't know in 2024 if they still taking all their clothes off. But I know they try to pit the men against the women in SEER. And they try to get you to be like, oh, don't, don't. Like there was a bunch of dudes crying because the girls didn't have no clothes on. I'm like, you guys are stupid, man. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hang on, get my get my I gotta get my gun sighted in. I'm ready. All right, next question. Hey, all y'all that just joined, turn your camera on, and we're gonna get thrown out. Hey Jake, I have a few questions for you. What you got, Tyler? So, uh, I'm in the Marine Corps, and I'm about to get out in two months. My EAS is in uh, May seventeenth. Okay. And uh, I just went through A and S here for Marstock. Yeah. Uh, I made it all the way through. Just didn't get selected. I guess um, they just, I just wasn't what they were looking for. Okay. And um, and now I'm still like having that feeling of chasing the dragon. And uh, there's a few options like we could go to SBS, um, Rangers, or like anything else. But like I'm like confused because I don't know which which route I really want to go. Because I've heard go 75th. You can do the 18 X-ray with SF. Like I'm I'm like in a uh, crossroad right now. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? The reason you ain't selecting the Marine Corps is because they don't need nobody right now. Like, they're not having a high turnover in the Marine Corps in Marsa because they ain't doing nothing, okay? So I guess my thing would be you just did four years in the Marine Corps. I would take it. I, I eat an 18 x ray contract right now because, like, you're going to do really good in that pipeline. The Ranger pipeline, so you know what it was like to be a boot. What, what's your OS? I'm Motor T operator. Okay, so you know, like that first year Motor T. I guess Motor T ain't. Like, they didn't beat you up too bad, did they? Oh, uh, they're Uh, no, not as bad as like Motor Three. Definitely not. Probably not no. Okay, so like, the problem with if you go Rangers, like they are going to haze you for a year and a half. Every day they gonna haze like your squad leader is going to haze you every day for a year and a half until you prove yourself. Pretty much just like pretty much just seeing like what I'm about. No, 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 no. Like you're you're in selection for a year and a half. Like like my Ranger that I interviewed, like one out of five dudes is gonna be there a year after they got to Ranger Bad. Okay. Whereas if you go if whereas if you go 18 X ray you're just going to go 18 x-ray. If you just got through selection for MARSOC, you're going to go in and kill 18 x-ray. You'll kill it, and then you'll get to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just go in the pipeline. It's a normal training pipeline. You're going to go to the team. You're not going to get hazed as a new guy. You're just going to get a new guy hazed. It's different than the Ranger Bat. The Ranger Bats hate. Yeah, the Ranger Bats hazing 18 and 19-year-olds. The haze you're going to get in, in Green Berets isn't going to be a haze so much as you're just going to be the new guy and do everything that you need to do. It's just a different animal. It's a more mature animal. Hey, I want to know how to talk on here. I just want to talk about it. We're just, there's this military dude. Killing me, man. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay. Does that make sense, Tyler? 
You muted. You muted. I might have muted you, but I you muted. Am I good now? Yeah, yeah. Does that okay. make sense? Yes, that makes sense. So, so what I'm getting at, what you're saying is, uh, SF is a lot more mature of a pipeline than Rangers would be. Absolutely. Okay, and and like with SF, is that like if you make it all the way, you make it? It's not like, uh, like of course you have to have good character, right? But like, so. End, so here's what I'm going to tell you, dude. The former Marines murder special operations selection outside of the Marine Corps. Okay. I agree with that. I like the Navy SEALs, like I would say in my SEAL team, there was, there might have been 10 former Marines in my SEAL team. And everybody at SEAL training knew who the Marines were, and they did a great job. Right. Because I know it wasn't physically um, why they board dropped me. Like, I know it wasn't physically, because I was like top five, top ten. Top you five. you got dropped because they don't need nobody right now. How many people did they select? Um, I think we started out with 300, and they selected, I want to say like 60. They selected 60 out of 300? To 70. Uh, most of them were dropped, so they, out of the 70, they picked, it was like 107, 108 guys, and they selected like 70 guys. Okay, that's a lot more. And how often are they having selection? Only three times a year. Okay. So, I don't know. Here's what I'll tell you. I, I'll, I'll tell you this. Motor T ain't healthy. No, not at all. No. Being a Motor T dude did not help you at all. Yo, I saw a Zoom bomber. Uh, the the other time, so in a Zoom with a military guy, he's a Zoom bomber. I've seen him in the Zoom before. Oh, oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got the good Tyler. So, Tyler, this is what I'll tell you, man. Go 18 x ray. That would be my advice to you as a former Marine. Okay. I, I mean, as a Marine, as a current Marine. So, here's the worst thing you could do. Try to go select again. Did they invite you back? No. Once you make it all the way through, and I just got into NDA, so I can't, like, talk about second phase. But once you make it all the way through, you're, like, they can't cook you and eat you, you know? Like... No, no, what I'm saying is if you make it all the way through and you don't select, then you don't have the ability to come back. No, not for... Not hey, man, for listen, Tyler, Tyler, I know you probably love the Marine Corps. I wish Mike was on here tonight. Not that Mike, but the other Mike. Because Mike would tell you, Harold will tell you, Harold's on here unless he left. Harold! Harold got probably got a baby in his arms right yeah, now. what's going on, Jake? Harold, you think my man Tyler should just punch and go 18 x-ray? And loved the army life. Might as well. Had a good Absolutely. Straight. Straight over there. Do not pass go, Tyler. You when this happened? How long ago? This happened two days ago. And I'm Tyler, go to the army right now. You in great shape and tell them I'm ready to go right now. Your your enlistment's up in two months, right? Right. Go go like tomorrow. Go find the army recruiter and tell him. You don't think they're biased though? Because I do agree. Like my my uh, like with me and Motor T, I feel like we're even though they're not supposed to be biased, right? But they're human. So listen, when you get to the army, they're not gonna ask you what your MOS is. Because I can tell you this: a Motor T dude in a Marine Corps is a better shooter than a than an infantry dude in the army. Jacob, I just realized who you were. Help this young man out, Jacob. I just jumped in. What is he? What is he doing here? So he just he didn't get selected for Marsoc. Went all the way through the whole screener. Didn't get selected, and he's over here debating. He's a Motor T dude by tra training in the Marine Corps, and we were talking the difference between the X-ray, 18 X-ray, and going Ranger bat. I kind of told him to go Ranger. I mean, 18 X-ray. And he's kind of worried about the biases that he's a Motor T dude. And I'm trying to explain to him that he's a former Marine. And that puts him on a different playing field. Yeah, so actually I actually had a buddy. He was a Marine. Uh, he was actually one of the, uh, in one of the original Marsoc classes. And they had such a backup in the pipeline. It was like a two-year backup uh, to go to uh, their like version of the uh, Q course. So he actually ended up getting out. And then joining a 18x contract, right? And he loved the army. 
and 18x was kind of his go-to and yeah like honestly no one cares in the 18x program where you come from it's what you can do now um so yeah Yeah, tyler i definitely go go that route man tyler so jake spent a number of years at the ranger band yeah how old are you tyler 24 yeah you have no business going to ranger bat 24 without a tap okay you would hate your life um What's your rank? You at E5 right now? No, I'm at E4. Corporal. Yeah, yeah, you would hate your life there. So even if you show up as an E4, right? Uh, uh, for example, Charlie Company, 375, you weren't allowed to wear rank until you got your, your Ranger tab. Oh, okay. so you're, Is that you're, you're, the That's the cold there. It's probably changed since then, you know, because, uh, you know, that's like 2017 and pre time frame. But like when we were E4s there without a tab, you're a fuzzy. You're private nobody. Yeah. And so okay. there's no reason to delay your process by spending like 12 months at Ranger Bat and then trying to go to Ranger School and then dealing with that whole fiasco just to maybe get promoted to E5 when you can just go 18X and be an E5 and no one cares really about Ranger School in that program, right? So. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Uh, yeah. But like, at your age, man, don't do it. One last question if I could. Go ahead, Tyler. Um, so, like, say hypothetically, I don't make the 18X red, right? You, you like, don't I what? Say, say, like, hypothetically. Tyler, 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 listen. You just got dropped two days ago, right? Right. Okay, what am I going to tell you right now? Get back in the training? Stop being a fucking pussy and don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Good to go. You're going to be fine. Good like, go. don't let one failure to... Oh, damn, man. Damn! Why are you throwing a flag? HR came on here and got me, man. Damn. Hey, Sarah, come come get in the camera in the in the in the blue suit. Some people trying to haze me. They want to they wanna make a meme. Fuck that HR violation, man. They're getting me. Dang it. Tyler, listen, don't worry about it. Just happened two days ago. Don't let that hang over you. You know what I'm saying? Get back on the horse, gun the gas, fucking let's go. Yes, sir. Why were you a not select? Uh, they don't tell you once you make it that far, like because they do like. Um, I don't know if I can talk about it. No, but, don't talk about it, Tyler. Don't say yeah, shit. Yeah. No, I'm not. Don't say but, shit. They they kind of beat around the bush of why not? Like they'll give you a piece of paper and stuff, but. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just get back on the horse, ride fast. Okay, good to go. Hey, if you need to send me an email, send me an email anyway, Tyler, or text me. You got my phone number. Uh, I sent you an email, and then I think you were on live, so I was like, I might as well get the Q and A now. Okay, so make uh, sure make sure I reply to your email, but send me an email to some of you, the former Marine or the Marine, on here, and I'll hook you up with a couple dudes to help you answer your questions. Okay. But I'm gonna tell you, like I just tell everybody, like the Marines don't have problems when they go over to other people's special operations. They just don't have problems. They usually kill it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I- I can see that. Whether it's buds, like I told you, I had dudes in my buds class. I mean, we had like ten Marines at my SEAL team, at SEAL team eight. That's solid. Yeah. So, and I, I mean, I know the Marine Corps has a bunch. of Mike, I got one. I got Mike. Mike's in the Ranger Bat, CW05 in the Ranger Bat. He did his four years in the Marine Corps, and then went over there, and he been over there ever since. I think uh, my Ranger in town. I got a couple dudes that were Marines that went over there. It's just different, Tyler. It's not the same kind of – it's just different. Different culture and stuff like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I, so. I really appreciate – you definitely gave, like, more confidence with that. Yeah, you got yeah. – hey, man, you're going to fail at stuff, bro. It's just how it is. You can't let it hang on you. The best part is, Tyler, you only got two more months in the Marine Corps. So run down into the Army – Get your shit in, and two months from now, you'll be in the Q course, and you'll be like, come on, man, this is it? Come on. You'll be one of the top performers. You'll be leading. Like, you're going to be calling me saying, hey, man, I just got done with the Q course. I'm killing this shit. Or I AFAS. I got done with AFS. I killed it. I got selected. I'm going to Q course. Let's go. Because the worst thing that's going to happen, you're going to be in the infantry. Right. And then, and then here's the best part. If you don't select in a year from now, you get to go to go again, and you'll have a year of infantry in you, and more probably a ninety percent chance then you'll be able to select. 
But I'm not, I don't even want to put no doubt in your head. You'll be fine. Hey, call me, man. We'll get you taken care of. You ain't got no damn problems. I, I appreciate you, man. Absolutely, brother. Thank you for your service, man. Thank you. All right, next All right. question. Oh, hang on. I was slipping on my knife. I was slipping on the gun. Thank you, Jake. Next question. My name's Lestat Miller. Yo, what you got, Lestat? Like I can't say what you got, Miller. All right, no worries. So I'm in high school right now, right? Okay, what grade you in in high school? Sophomore, but I'm getting out with my DD because I plan on going into the military. Okay, so wait a minute now. When are you gonna get out of high school? Okay, you. How old are you? I'm sixteen. How old you gotta be to go in the military? 17, so I'm waiting that time until I'm 17. When do you turn 17? Beginning of next year. So a year from now? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're just going to take your GED, and then you're going to go in the military? I'm going to take my GED. Yep. After that, I'm going to use the time spent from the years of work up to building, dance, and everything like that. Okay. Do you, do you play any sports right now? I used to play football. Okay. All right. What's your question? I just got to get the background. What's your question? My question right now is like, what's your tips to like get like better in dance to make sure like when you get to like the training camps and the basic training and stuff like that. Do Do you have the Do you have the the uh, PDF? PDF. No sir. Do you have my email? No sir. Look in the chat right now. It's the one that's spelled right. So it's at the top of the chat. It's the second email I put in there. Are you talking about going in the army? No, Navy SEALs, sir. Navy SEALs. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. You you a sophomore in high school? Ask for the Navy SEAL PDF. Uh, you got it. Yes, sir. So put it in a, in the subject. Put Navy SEAL PDF, and my bot will send it right back to you. Get on that. Yes, sir. All right. Good question. Next, next person. All right, sir. Uh oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got my gun ready. All right, go ahead and ask the question. I think that's me. Yeah, that's you, iPhone. I thought you was. I had to go ahead and snipe you, and I had. I wasn't quite lined up yet. Okay, go ahead. What you got? Gotcha. All righty. Um. So, in the past, I uh, I went to fire college. Um. Decided that that's not something that I wanted to do. Um. I completed everything. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. You didn't want to go to fire academy, but you did your dad make you go? No, no, no. I went to the, I went and completed fire academy. Okay. Um, and and I ended up injuring my back in the process of doing it. I still I completed everything. Um I strained a muscle in my back. It wasn't it wasn't anything really serious. Okay. Um, in the process of me getting a job after fire college. I got an opportunity to join a power company. Um, okay. And ended up in a power company. Um, had okay. good opportunities there, and I'm still there. Currently. What are you doing in the power company? Are you riding helicopters doing power lines? No, sir. I mean, that would be badass, but no, sir. I'm not doing that. I'm uh, just doing power lines underground overhead. Okay. And uh, I enjoy doing that, but while I was doing this, um, I also ride motocross. I ended up getting in a accident and slipped a disc okay um and i'm interested in the military um but wasn't really too sure i haven't went to any recruiters or talked about it or anything because i've seen you before so i figured i'd ask you the question how um, old are you 24 um when you say slipped the disc did you have an mri and you got a disc out of place right now not right now it, it ended up slipping back in but yes it was it was a year ago Okay, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so that that's not something I need to worry about, whether it's special forces or any type of. I mean, it may uh, come up. I mean, I did my back before I went to SEAL training, and you know, like if you want it bad enough, you deal with it and you figure it out. Yeah, sure. Ten four. I was just really just curious on if that was going to be any type of a hiccup, but if I mean, that's something that's kind of coming, then it depends on how tough you are, brother. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean. If if you're telling me if it's out, if your disc is out, I'll tell you right now, your back ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna tell you right now, your back ain't gonna make it if it's out. But 
I mean, everybody got back problems is whether or not you can deal with them or not. I didn't have, at Bud's, I didn't have, I, I don't remember any time that back, my back gave me problems. Yes, so, okay. and I had spent a couple, a couple shit, I had spent four months on limited duty because I couldn't even tie my shoes for four months the summer before. So, gotcha. so you had a split disc prior? No, I had, I had, I got, I got like four herniated discs into my lower back, but I had two back then and I just, I couldn't bend over. Like I couldn't bend over to save my life. And I got a bunch of steroid shots. I got like 12 epidural steroid shots and that helped me deal with the pain. And then I ended up going to Bud's a year later. Gotcha. So that was all prior to going Bud's and then you were still successful. And I had, I had to get a couple shots at Bud, like after Bud's in the SEAL teams. There was a couple times I had to go get some stairway shots in my back because it, it, it was trying not to work on me. So I'm not saying it ain't going to be an issue. It's just whether or not you're tough enough to deal with it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All good, brother. That answers my question. Thanks, sir. Cool. All right, next question. We're getting close to 8 o'clock. I see this is crazy. Everybody picked up the questions. Got you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Go ahead. Adam, what you got? Um, any general advice for somebody to turn 22 today? General advice for someone to turn 22? Yep. Okay, here's here's going to be the best best response to the word. Jake, Jake shaking his head. What did you do yesterday? Got call. You did what? Nothing. Okay. So then, if you did nothing, did you do anything today? No. Nope. Okay, so Adam. Like, if you're not trolling, it sure sounds like a trolling question. Bam! Next question. Hello, Jake. I got a serious question. Can you hear me? Okay, how I say your first name? Uh, Haziel. It's Haziel. Haziel, what you got, brother? Uh, I'm coming off YouTube. Uh, I was the one asking about the asthma. Okay, so, so what's your question about asthma? Uh, if I don't have a connection to get the medication, how would you recommend getting it in? Okay, so here's my question to you right now. Yes, sir. Do you, are you already on the medication? Uh, I am, but I've watched your videos previously. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Whatever, well, who, what's the name of the system? Someone's going to yell it out because I want to call it the Tempest system, but it ain't Tempest. Whatever the system is they have now, they're going to see it, and you ain't going to make it. What is it? Genesis. 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 It's the Genesis system. So the, you, they're, they're going to pull it up in Genesis, and they're going to dig into it with a, with a shovel, and you're probably not going to get through. Well, the, the weird thing is I've gone to the doctor for it many times, and uh, they're not calling it asthma, but the uh, what I'm on is a buterol, and it helps. Uh, I've been on your program, your Navy SEAL program, which I just I asked for the Army one. Okay. And um, I'm good. I'm I'm training on it, but uh, what are you running right now? Uh, what, two mile, five mile. What are you running? What time? Doing your since I was on the I was doing your three three five. Okay, what's your three mile time? Uh, it's still pretty bad right now because I just recently got on it again. Okay, so listen, bro, I want the number. It's around nine fifty. Nine fifty miles or nine fifty miles? Yeah. Okay, so then, like I would tell you this, so I tell everybody, I had asthma, but I was still able to run six minute miles. Yeah, it just sometimes it just gets hard to breathe. And, you know, well, then you ain't going to make it, brother. All right. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If, if I if, if, it, if I had, when I got tested in the SEAL teams, I had 70% lung function. Okay? But the only, I got, I had asthma attacks in the military three times in the woods around Quantico. And if I didn't have my beautiful all hit, I have an asthma attack. Yeah, they were more so telling me it was uh, allergy related. So I think if I can control that, but have it. 
But if you're telling me you get short of breath at times, you ain't going to make it, brother. All right. I'm just telling you because, because like, I had a dude. I had a dude that went to Bud's and did not tell me he had asthma. And he passed out four times in the first week in the swimming pool. Then he's going to tell me he had asthma. And I asked him, were you on the Bruderol? Were you taking the medicines you need to take? And he said, no. So understand this, when you get into training, if you haven't, if you getting short of breath just training now, there ain't no chance you're going to make it. Because you ain't going to be able to pull up with an inhaler in any selection course and not get thrown out immediately. Right. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Jake, can I chime in real quick? Oh, no, Mike, you can't chime in. No, you asked a good question. We're going to have a positive meeting. You did a great job. No, no chiming in on asthma. I don't know what you're going to talk about, but no. All right, we got time for one more question. No, Mike, no more questions. Neither Samsung either. Neither one of you all in the, over there in the child timeout category. You you over there. You just stay over there. You did good. All right, y'all. I will see y'all next week. Um, everything's good. Jake, thanks for jumping on here. Dropping some fire, brother. We'll catch y'all later. Only easy day was yesterday. I knew you were going to say something, but I'm out. All right, YouTube, what y'all got, man? What y'all got? What y'all got? Washington State, Drake. Washington State, baby. Opt out of the record search, but it's a dollar. Nah, listen, there ain't no way to opt out of nothing, man. You ain't they got the they got the new Genesis system. You ain't opting out of nothing, you two. You ain't opting out of nothing. Jenks, I thank you a lot, man. We had like 35 people in, in Zoom. I credit that to you for sending people over there, man. I appreciate it, big dog. Appreciate it. All right, folks, what else we got, man? What else we got? It's, it's 8.05. I'll give y'all YouTube guys five minutes to ask questions, and we bang some questions out. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of questions down here. Um, Borak. I mean, Borak's all right, dog. Get it, man. I get it. Adam, bruh, like, just do something better than you did yesterday was going to be my message to you, Adam. Do something better than you did yesterday. If you did nothing yesterday, do something today, okay? Do do something today. Hang on, man. Shalon, the Google search fat boys shut your bottomless ball. Okay, we don't need that. I'm going to touch you. We don't need that. Okay, hide them. We got to hide them. YouTube blocking people. All right, moderator handle. Uh, thanks for these lies. I appreciate it, man. We just trying to give back, like straight up. Uh. My whole 30 meal to go to is rice cakes and almond butter and bananas, man. That's my that's my big one, man. Drake, I don't know what to tell you. Flat feet, bro. I got pretty flat feet myself. You just got to keep going, man. You got to keep going. So you got to figure out what you got to do to run and, and whatever else. Trump or Biden, baby. We going for Trump. 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 I say Trump because Trump's going to give us some change to do some amazing things, man. How do I go through buds without quitting? Do really hard stuff, man. I'm going to tell you flat out, do really hard stuff. No, you shouldn't start on the PDF. You should start. If you're 15, start in wrestling. That's what you need to do. Start in wrestling. Now, we're working on these T-shirts, man. We got to make an uh, uh, okay T-shirt. Okay. So... We working on this stuff, man. I got a lot of stuff going on, man. I've been on fire for the last two or three weeks. So, H&K Guns, six. I don't care, man. I don't care. I actually like my Glock. Glock is clean. Glock is clean, folks. Got any more questions? Y'all dying down on the questions on YouTube. We had we had 340 on YouTube. Mm. YouTube live. Increase your push-ups. Bench press. Go to my YouTube. Ask for the bench press, man. Go to YouTube. Ask for. I mean, go to YouTube and look at the lifting and work on the bench press. Okay. Yeah. Gen five. I think I got a Gen three Glock. To be honest with you, I got it from my uncle. 165 at one point? Man, crazy. Why you bald? Because my grandfather was bald, bro. 
Grandfather was bald. Uh, I don't even know what that question means. How hollow are your walls? Uh, sticking out with pain. So I had a dude in my class that went through Hell Week with a hernia with his intestines hanging out of the front of his stomach. And I had another dude that had a broke ankle that had a broke ankle for 12, uh, for a solid two months of buds. And he limped around for two months and still made it. Uh, mac and cheese does not count. I, my success with mac and cheese, the macaroni in the mac and cheese just is not high enough quality to give you the energy that you need. Because I surely tried mac and cheese over just straight pasta. So, what else? Hola, amigo. Much love from San Diego. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Johnny. We out here trying to fight the good fight. Uh, I'm tell you right now, I've been watching Fat Electrician. I think the Fat Electrician on to something, man. He just be giving straight history fact lessons on military stuff that you can never forget. Got out as a 03. Uh, what PDF will help me? I'm trying out for the flyway. Uh, you need so anything in the Air Force, I'm recommending that you do the Navy SEAL PDF because they got a lot of water stuff in the in the Air Force. Uh, I mean, I would probably do what I'm doing now. I went coach football for 15 years. No, boxing does not substitute for wrestling. No. Uh. What do you, he speaks, I haven't watched it, he speaks the truth. I ain't watched him. Chicago, I just left Chicago last night on a layover. Regular pasta, man, regular pasta. Nah, I, I just, you know, part of me is happy I got out. Part of me is unhappy I got out. Stockton, that's it. Michael Lawless, do you have a pilot's license? No, I got like 15 hours and I can fly and take off pretty easy. So, Airborne Infantry Ranger gave me inhaler and basic once. You signed up to get the basic. They take care of you. Sure, you could use it as an excuse to leave, but they also give you an inhaler. Uh, I crushed uh, cheese enchiladas and blonde. Fat electrician. Yes, sir. Four-year contracts to fly in the Navy. No. Every contract active duty is 11 years. But if you go in the National Guard, they let you go fly for the airlines after three years. So the National Guard hitting a little difference. We just didn't, we started to have some success getting people into the National Guard where we didn't before. So life is good. You want to live like Matt, what you waiting on, man? Go live like Matt Graham. You know Matt Graham's story, man. Matt Graham just walked right out into the woods, man. He said at 16, he said he was tired with all the BS. He just walked out of the woods and figured it out. Marriage worth it, man. Listen, best woman in the world. That's what I'm going to say about marriage. I'm married to the best woman in the world. Uh, 43 days, no cigarettes. Let's go. Stay off them Stay off them cigs. A degree is like high school. Easy to get D's, get a degree, but they take your GPA into account. Okay. Uh, actively mentoring we probably got 200 people in the mentoring train right now Michael probably 200 I would guess right now like actively mentoring like me not me but the the uh, we probably at three four hundred right now in a chain I got I mean I got 20 dudes in OCS in the army between I bullock and OCS there's 20 dudes right now just in those two things 18 x-ray is a great option Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Marco. I thank you. Hey, did y'all like the Green Beret Chronicles cut? Did you think that was a good look? Did you like the Green Berets uh, Chronicle cut that we did? Red Coronado used to be Island Pasta. That was the only place I ate in Coronado. Too, too expensive, man. Yeah, construction is good. Loved it. Appreciate it. Yes. No such thing, man. So I just make mentors. Like anybody that comes into my program is a mentor. Like I'm mentoring people to be mentors now at this point. There's no such thing. We will mentor the whole damn country if we have to. Appreciate. Uh, racial judo, man. Pretty simple, bro. You call me something crazy. Sarah, they're going to get you. 
They're going to get you. If you say something stupid, man, I'm just going to respond with your first name and glad to know who the bigots are, man. That's going to be my response, and I'm going to keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. Um, yeah, I got to, I, like, there's a lot of stuff I got to do, but I'm working on a bunch of really big stuff right now. We're working on a TV show. We're working on a bunch of other stuff. So until I get to the point where I can hire somebody to do Discord for me or any of that other stuff, I can't. Ain't nothing I can do, man. I got, I got limited time, and it just ain't, you know, my my stuff is crushing it. So how much does it cost to join your mentorship program as a business owner? Uh, Matthew, I would encourage you to email me, and then we go from there. I'm just going to tell you it's not cheap because I don't want to mentor most people. So um, the good thing is it's a pretty good deal. So reach out to me on Matthew. Just my first name dot last name at Gmail and tell me what you want to do. Francisco just gave five dollars. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all, just just wait. When I drop this next stuff that's coming out, Jim McKinley. Uh is that is that Chris Eben? No, that's Chris McKinley. I don't know, man. If that's Chris Eben you're talking about, absolutely. Yeah, you just got to feed him. I can't talk about the TV show just yet. I got a couple. I got some big bangers coming. Big bangers. Yes, Stockton, you are 100% correct. And I beat the shit out of everybody in the SEAL teams. And all it did was make it worse. I agree, Stockton. That's why we invented racial judo. Keep them off of us. Who is the guy? That's Chris Heben or Chris McKinley. Travis Lavely on again. Travis is coming, bro. Travis is coming. Travis is coming out to see me in a couple months, man. So we're going to do some good things. Who's the person in the background? I can't talk about the person in the background. Y'all trying to get divorced. That's who was in the background. Okay. What else we got, YouTube? I'm about to jump off of here, man. Y'all got a couple more minutes. Appreciate it, Jenks. Okay. Dude, I see the questions, man. I'm waiting on some stuff. I'm waiting on some stuff. Man, I ain't coming up there. I ain't coming up there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Stockton. I'm going to be in the back in the tent, man. Can't have that shit. I'm not trying to sleep in the tent tonight. No, man, what's wrong with y'all? Special operations, man, be tough. Be tough, man. That's my recommendation, man. I can run Discord for you. Adam A, send me an email, brother. Drago, I know him, but he ain't one of my dudes. I've met him before, okay? Uh... A 15-year-old a dirt bike? I got two dirt bikes. We got two of them now. Buzz class videos. Yes, the update is I need to move into my new house before I can get started on my buzz class videos because I'm making a studio at my new house. I may have to start on the studio before I get started, but I don't want to put nothing crazy in it until I get started. Yeah, Adam, send me an email, bro. If you don't want to run my Discord, I'll gladly let you do it. I need some help, man. Uh... Yeah, we'll bring the buzz vid. We got a bunch of buzz videos, and a bunch of people want uh, the class videos, the uh, surviving the cut videos, and stuff like that. So we'll get that done. They took out Rock Portage of Buds. They ain't took Rock Portage out of Buds. Rock Portage is still in Buds, bro. They ain't take it out. No, nope, still there. Still there. Can you go fly in the military with an online bachelor's? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. College advice. Crush it. Crush it. Real estate recommendations in San Antonio. Mm, I mean, buy houses, bro. Richard Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki. I'm messing it up, man. Uh, personal ones, areas. I think San Antonio is nice, man. Um... I, I, I really, you know, 
side hustles to make money? I don't have no side hustles. I have a bunch of main hustles. How do you crush college? Learn how to study, man. Uh, get the get the book called uh, Walking with Einstein. It will teach you how to memorize anything you want to memorize. It's a super book called Walking with Einstein. SWAT team. No, get the Army PDF if you want to go SWAT. Yeah, SAT, baby. San Antonio. That's right. Get the Army PDF if you want to go SWAT. Yeah. Oh yeah, 2018 was a super come up. Super come up. I wish I I hit it in 2011. I just wish I would have had some more money. The horror, get the uh, get the Navy SEAL PDF, man. Make sure you email me, Google my name, my email will come up and put Navy SEAL PDF. Thank you, Jenks. Uh, how much rucking weight do you people in the army start with? 30 pounds. Work up to 60. Let's go. Grades for college. Don't have grades for college. Okay. Moonwalking with Einstein. Yes. That's the book. Get that book. It'll teach you how to remember anything. Swim captain, USC. Want to go for SEALs? Where do I start? Send me an email. Swim captain from USC. Go watch my video. Garland, go watch my video of the swim captain from Tennessee. Okay. But I would tell you, send me an email, man. Make sure you can run. Send me an email. We'll work with you, get you squared away. But make sure you go watch my, my YouTube video about the swim captain from Tennessee. Send me an email, Garland. Uh, no. PDFs and training. I'm interested in 18 x -ray. Send me an email. Ask for the Army PDF. I got two dirt bikes. I need to get two more. Alice Pack Rucksack. It sucks. Sucks. I don't know about the GI Bill. You still need to rename. Hey, what do I need to rename it, Adam? What do you think I need to rename it? Adam, type in here what you think I need to rename it. Like Tennessee... Captain of the Tennessee swim team doesn't make it. Thank you, Garland. I appreciate it. Put Tennessee swimmer in title. Okay, I'm on it. I'm going to change it right now. I'll fix it right now. I'm on it. I'm on it. I don't know what it says right now, but we'll figure it out. Okay? We're going to YouTube. Wait, I'm on you. Oh, I'm on YouTube on my phone. Okay, I can do this. I can do this, man. Your videos. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. I know what it looks like. Ten. Uh... Oh, man, that's why. Couldn't push myself to death is the name of it. That's not a very good title. Could not. Hang on. It's a short. Oh, no. Here it is. Hang on. Let me see if this is it. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is it. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. It's done. Tennessee. T-E-N-N-E-S. Oh, God. Hang on. Let me go back in here. So I spell Tennessee right. We won't be able to find it because it don't have Tennessee in there. That'd be, a, that'd be tragic, right? We changed the name and we can't spell Tennessee. Where is Tennessee at? Where is Tennessee? Right here. T-E-N-E-S. You ain't spell Tennessee right. Let me go to Google. Man, hang on. T-E-N. I was right. I spelled it right, man. Y'all killing me, Smalls. Okay. T Two N's. Two N's, one E, two S's, one E. Tennis, uh oh, that ain't right either. All right, Tennessee swimmer, captain. Tennessee swimmer, captain. Boom, it's done. There we go. Save. Okay, all you gotta do is Google Tennessee. Hey, Adam, great. Great shout out, bro. 
Because I couldn't find it. It's on my channel, man. Okay, so Garland, go watch Tennessee Swimmer, bro. It's up right now. Couldn't push myself to death. Tennessee Swimmer. Captain Nightmare Buds, man. Great dude. Just, I mean, shit, he hit the wall, bro. It is what it is. Uh, Hopefully soon, man. I'm waiting on my cabinet dude to finish these cabinets. Uh, I don't know what you got to, I'm going to tell you this, you got a ruck in the ruck that you're going to be having for there. Yeah, the Air Force, you get the Navy PDF because you do a lot of swimming in the Air Force, okay? So get the Navy SEAL PDF. Thank you, Jenks. John Jenks for the Tennessee. Yep, Jenks, Justin, absolutely, Jenks is on it. Uh, hang on. Any advice to be a great person in the military weather? Yeah, there's a whole bunch on my channel. This guy has skid marks in his boxer shorts, okay? I'm just going to tell you, everybody got skid marks in their boxer shorts. Just how it is, bro. All right, YouTube, I'm out of here, man. It's been a long day, a couple of days. We just running leadership training over at West Virginia State. Over there, killing it. I'm a Honda dude, Rusher. Honda. Rocking them Hondas. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Thank y'all, man. Much, much love. Thank you, Jax.